everybody welcome back to another video today i'm going to teach you on how to add cosmetics to your gorilla tag blender animations um that's really all i'm going to be teaching you today really nothing much but yeah let's get into the video okay so what you're gonna want to do is first off open up blender any version but i use blender 3.6.2 so yeah Okay, so now once Blender is open, before you do anything, you're going to want to go into the link in the description. Okay, so the first thing what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in here and you're going to want to download this. Okay, so now once you've finished downloading it, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description. Okay, so once you're here, you're going to want to click this little code button and you're going to want to download the zip. This is totally safe, but it does take a while to download. Okay, so once you finish downloading it, you're going to want to drag it to your desktop. Right click, and right here it should say extract folder. And yeah, that's all you're going to want to do. Now, we're going to go back in Blender. We're going to click open, go to your downloads, and you're going to want to download the thing we just downloaded right now. Now, it does look a little wonky, but you're going to want to come here, click close area, and put this down like that, and you can just adjust it however you want. Now, what you're going to want to do, you can just adjust it on however you want, so I'm just going to add, um, I'm just going to add things to it, so yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, go into the top, right, and click, um, viewport shading. Now you might wonder why is this so dark. You're going to want to shift A. Make sure you're in object mode. And click light and click sun. Now you can put this anywhere where you want. I'm going to just leave it there. Now you're going to want to put the sun at 20. 20 is a good amount. And then you can like rotate it kind of ish. Wherever you want it to be. So I'm going to go like that. You know what? Just adjust it on however you want. I recommend you putting it at 15 because it's not that bright, but it's also, it's just the right amount. Now you're going to want to go to shadow and contact shadows. You're going to want to go right here to render and you're going to want to click right here and make sure this is our refraction. Bye. Now you're going to want to click on the mesh and you can right click shade it flat. Shade it auto smooth or shade it smooth, whatever you want, but I'm going to shade it flat. Now you're going to want to go right here to the render and put this at 2. You might be wondering, why at 2? Well, this is just a good amount, you can see. Because if we put it too high, then it's going to be all blurry and stuff too. Just copy this right here. Render 2, viewport 1. You can turn on bloom. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to turn it off for now. Now you're going to want to click on the name, click tab, and just type in whatever one you want, whatever name you want. Now click this thing right here, and so this can open. Now you're going to want to click on the mesh material, and just put whatever color. I'm going to just put it like this. Now, time to add the actual cosmetics. Go to file. Go to import, go to FBX, go to your desktop or wherever you stored it. You're going to want to go to cosmetics. And right here, I'm going to click hat. And you can just type in whatever one. So I'm going to type in hop, top hat. Now what you're going to want to do is just adjust it on wherever you want it to be. So like this. Now, the next thing what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to also go to the link in the description. It is going to bring you to Nacho Engine's Discord. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the community assets. And right here, this is where the things actually start. Now, you can see, why is it pink? That's because we had to add the actual texture to it. So, let's do that. Right here, you're going to want to go to the community assets. Scroll up. Okay, so once you scroll almost all the way up. You're going to want to go right here, click this, and you are going to want to right click and click save image and put it in your desktop. Now you're going to want to go back to Blender, click on your hat, go to shading, and right here you're going to want to go to the diffuse color texture. Um, 
if you want to go up you have to uh, use your mouse thing or you can zoom in zoom out now you're going to want to click closest and you're going to want to put the hat last texture we just saved so i left it right here and you can see now we have the texture now if you are going now if you are going to do seasonal textures you can download any one of these so yeah now what you're going to want to do is click on your top hat and shift click your rig not your mesh click pose mode go right here click the head click control b and click boom now you can see if we go back click on our rig only go to pose mode you can see that the it moves with everything see it move the hat moves with the actual thing so yeah that's really on how to add cosmetics to your girl attack blender animations or just in blender in general so yeah i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day um and i'll see you later bye